Jason O.G. Miller here from Warrior Concepts and the Bujinkan Moki no Toro Dojo. And we're here with a new lesson today. This is actually a part of our Module 1 training in our online uh, ninja training program and our Platinum Coaching uh, lessons. Okay? What I want to take a look at are some ways that we can get started with our rolling so that, uh, you know, it's not so intimidating or damaging or whatever, especially for those of us uh, who really haven't done this uh, for a long time, maybe since school, or you know, maybe we just weren't all that physical growing up at all, so this is kind of a new thing to it. So instead of requiring that you, know, you just drop your body into something and go into a roll, what I want to do today is I want to take a look at uh, several of these things. So what you're going to find, this is, going to be, this is part one of a three-part series where we're going to be covering a forward roll, a back roll, and a side roll, uh, but we're going to be starting very, very safely. We're actually going to start close to the ground. Before I go into all this, what I want to do is just very quickly go over a couple of points that uh, my online students need to know to answer the question, what are some important things to remember for hitting the ground safely when we're rolling or doing break falls? Okay? And some of these things are uh, we want to relax and not stiffen up. Okay? We want to receive with muscle and not bone. Okay? We want to get as close to the ground as possible before the roll starts. Okay? Uh, and there's several others we'll talk about as we go along, but this last one, getting as close to the ground as possible before the roll begins, uh, is really, really important. What often what people will do is they'll just charge right into it or throw them, their, their body at the ground, and uh, the, the speed that they're going in the very beginning doesn't really afford them the opportunity to really get parts of their body in place to do the other things like receiving with muscle or because of the anxiety or the, the fear of crashing they want to get this thing over with so again there's there's a stiffening up of things to receive as opposed to a relaxing kind of thing right uh, you know we want to make sure that we're breathing out uh, as we're doing the work this is this is the same for anything whether we're punching shifting into come eye, anything like that we want to be exhaling when we're doing work we want to be inhaling when we're preparing to do work all right it's really really important stuff all right so today in this class what I want to do is just cover a basic side roll but to, to cover a basic side roll we want to take a look at uh, how we might end up on the ground so I'm going to take a look at two different positions the first position is our Kohen no Kamai. There's a really, really long uh, uh, version of this name. We just kind of shorten it to Kohen. Kohen means tiger change uh, uh, posture. Kohen no Kamai, tiger change posture, tiger change attitude. The whole idea is that we're learning how to receive our body using our knees, ankles, elbows, and shoulders as kind of a shock absorber system as we're hitting the ground so that we're not uh, you know, plowing right into the ground. Eventually, this will turn into something else as we advance and move up along the way. But what we're going to do, what I'm going to do first, is I'm going to start by taking a look at this Kohen no Komai and how it's a uh, uh, moving from Shizen to it is a, is the student's first forward break fall kind of position uh, from a shove or anything like that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to end up uh, down in this position that looks like a tiger. Okay. So uh, what we're looking at here is something comes from behind to shove us. Okay? So we end up in this position where the back is arched. Okay? If, can you imagine this? Okay? We're not talking about something that uh, trips us or moves us that we're actually folding. This would actually drop us right into a forward roll. So we want to be careful that when we're learning how to drop into Kohen no Komai that we're not doing this. Okay? Uh, it's, th this is counterproductive to what we're looking at. All right? So the whole idea is here is something, somebody comes in and shoves and we end up in this kind of a position, right? Shoulders are back and legs are moving. And what, what instinctively people will do, because human beings, at least here in the West, we're very, very upper body oriented. So people from here will just bring the shoulders forward and, and regain uh, control. But with that kind of inertia and impact to the back, there's this whiplashing kind of thing that goes on. It's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get the shoulders back over the hips. So instead of trying to move from up here, what we're going to do is, is rely on our taijutsu and move from the legs up instead of the shoulders down. So watch this. As the body's in this arched position, if I drop my knees, it suddenly pulls my hips under and straightens out, and, uh, straightens out my torso and gives me more control. Okay? So I'm going to do this very, very slowly. From here, I drop and then receive, I'm not slamming my knees into the floor. My knees can go to the floor after I get here, but I'm catching uh, in this, uh, in almost like a, a push-up or a, I don't know, 
dog position or something like that. Okay, so this, this whole tiger position is what we're looking at. All right. So again, here's the side view of it. Right. We're falling, and you don't have to practice with the arching all the time. But the idea, just with all like with all types of movement, the knees initiate the movement, not the shoulders to move the feet, anything like that. The knees initiate the movement. So lift here a little bit so you can see that when my knees initiate, my heels come up off the floor. Okay, so everything's working. Everything's working. I'm not doing this, which kind of drops me, and then my hips, knees, and ankles lock up. Okay, I want to keep those knee. I want to keep those joints uh, very dynamic and very moving. Okay, so from here, shift, receive. Okay, the idea here and the way you can gauge things is how quiet are things when you land. Okay, this is this is what not to do. Okay, from here, I don't want to do this. I don't want to slam because that puts undue uh, stress on the on the joints and the things I do to suffer for you guys. It's also not this. Okay, you know a little bit of padding here in the dojo, but if I were out on the sidewalk, the street, uh, parking lot, someplace like that, uh, my kneecaps are not going to like me very much at all. Okay, so again, side view, shifting, catching. Okay, front view, same thing. Okay, shift, catch. Okay, head stays up so I can go. All right, so now we'll move into this side roll. From right here, since everything is already down, the easiest thing to remember, or the easiest thing to do, is just to drop an elbow. What we need to remember is that rolling is an exercise in balance, not an exercise in speed and agility. The more balance control you have, the more speed and uh, ability to steer you're going to have. Okay, so from right here, if I want to go to my left, your right, what I want to do is drop the elbow on the same side and shift so I'm on my ulna this way. The body is naturally pitching in that direction. Okay? So I just tuck, round out my back, and shift over to this new position. I'm going to the right, drop, here, shift. shifting. Okay? Um, one, one of the reasons why we're rolling off angle is we want to make the assumption that whatever direction we're rolling is opposite the direction that the bad guy is coming from. Now I could do a forward roll from here, but what I want to take a look at is just getting out of this space. So if the guy shoved me down, now my tailbone and my, and, uh, my body is exposed to anything he might want to hit me with, right? So from here, I want to just break from this position, right? So I'm down, shift, everything's moving, right? This is how you know that it's an exercise in balance or that your balance is working well, right? If, uh, everything is working correctly, the body is shaped correctly, and we're on balance, we should be able to do this slowly as opposed to quickly. You can always do it quickly, but quickly also throws us through some problem areas that we may not be aware of. So from here, shift, and the body just naturally moves itself from point A to point B. Okay? So that's doing it from Kohen. We can do the same thing from Cezanne no Kohen, okay? just this seated kneeling position. In this case, Toes are in alignment with the knees, okay? We're not in one of these really wide open, uh, you know, show your groin to the world kind of, kind of positions. The feet aren't overlapping, okay? If this is problematic for you, you can do this Takagi Yoshin Seiza where the toes are tucked under back here and you're a little bit higher, all right? But again, this could be seen as a next stage. So from here, right, what we're going to do is just bring the hands out to the side, okay? And then flex the arms so we can move over. So now, we're going to lift a little bit, use a little bit more height to things, okay? So again, from here, we could also just bring the arm across the body this way, keep the head tucked so that we're not slamming into the ground, and drop the hips over so we can roll. So here, over, I use the back of my arm, that way I can, I'm right on the muscle group, I'm not doing this and then having to get the elbow out of the way. So from here, shift, and we're over, or here, a little bit more advanced level, and then what I'm going to do is lift myself a little bit. That way I'm using my arms to control where I land so I can roll across uh, my shoulder blades or just below my shoulder blades. Big muscles, the lat muscles, things like that. So from here, shifting and moving myself over. Okay? Pretty simple. Not a shoulder roll, it's a side roll. Okay? So again, this is part one of our rolling exercises. For module one, basic side roll from Koen Lokamai and Seizo Lokamai. Okay? I'll see you in the next lesson.